all right guys what is going on welcome back to my youtube channel um today should be the day where this can finally run again and move under its own power um last video we we're missing a fitting which is right here shout out to marcus he got the fitting for me that uh goes into the clutch line and that goes into the slave right here so now I could run the line, kind of snake it the way back, drop it down there to the slave, hook it up, put the fluid in, bleed the system, and then that should be good. Well, besides uh, adjusting the pedal, and then I gotta cut the automatic brake pedal just because you know how big they are. Um, it gets in the way of the clutch, so I just gotta cut that down a little bit. Um, AutoZone, I bought a clutch, clutch pedal pad, um, it's in here. It says for a Honda and Acura, but if that doesn't like really fit, I have uh, the other clutch pedal pad from the clutch arm that I bought. So I guess that wasn't really wasted, I guess just for the pad. But uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna get started on just running the line and um, you know, I guess we're just gonna go forward. Actually, I'm going to lift the car up and try to go from under to top. So, What's up, guys? <laughs> this is Alex here. I'm here to show you the car for the third straight day in a row. And that's going to be off the lift. Big shout out to Marcus Parks and Roberto for letting me peel HP logics off all the cars. Um, or HP, whatever it is. Um, Del Dirto. Um, but uh, we're going to make sure we get this car off the floor. Big shout out to Marcus for, uh, yeah, yeah, putting the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we have the clutch line ran down here, uh, zip tied over the bell housing to the clutch master. But right now I gotta find um, the sleeve bolts because I don't have that currently. Hey, so. About the hot air, uh, Roberto comes out. Oh my God. So with the HP found bolts, slave is now on. Clutch line is all nice and tight from the master to the slave. So now we're gonna go inside and cut the pedal. All right guys, so right there, that big middle one, that's that's the piece we need to cut. That's the brake pedal. First, obviously, you wanna take the rubber off. This thing is like still like new good, so. There we go. So now with the pad that I bought, you can obviously trace it out. It's how you want it. So basically just like that. Right down in the middle, just trace it out. Maybe more to the right. And more to the right. Yeah. 
No turning back now. sizzle but obviously um i'm going to change it to the flap disc so it can actually round out the edges so the pedal pad can actually go on and so it doesn't rip or like if my foot slips off i don't cut my ankle or something like that so let me switch out the flap disc or let me switch out to the flap disc we we'll get to that going and yeah still but whatever oh, that's really hot all right so I explained later but I'm um, for people that I'm wondering why I jumped um got the pedal situated put the pad on and everything and now it's time to bleed the system All right, guys, so I am sweating my ass off. Uh, being underneath the dash was a little bit much. Uh, got the auto brake pedal shaved down and everything. The pad's on it. Uh, I'll show you when I'm inside. But uh, what we did was just literally just uh, loop the neutral safety switch. Shout out to Marcus for that. Um, but we have fluid in the Clutch Master, me and Dan. We bled the system, um, felt, it feels pretty good. I mean, there's a little bit of play in it, but uh, we could definitely uh, try to adjust that with uh, the throw and all that stuff. But uh, right now, it's a moment of truth. I could plug in the battery back on and see if she turns over and see if she moves on her own power in the air. So let me set you guys up. All right, guys, so we just started the car for the first time since it's been down. And we tested it 
everything works. I just wanted to make sure, uh, but um, let's, let's just show you guys everything. Alright guys, so first drive. There we go. Oh my god, she moves. How's the coach feel? Is actually not that bad. Huh? Yeah. I think, I think you're used to it. <laughs> Fucking Tommy. Feels weird, dude. <laughs> But I'm so happy that this thing's back on the road. No more auto life for you. Nope. You're a real man now. Yes, sir. All right, let's, let's run this bitch through those gears. I just gotta get some getting used to. Because <laughs> since this clutch is like super aggressive, Good though. Yeah. Everything, everything's running about right. A little bit of noise from there, but yeah, you know, that's, well, I mean, we'll cover it up. Yeah, it's wide open right now. You hear everything underneath. Alex is happy, everybody. He yes, has his car sir. back. There's some clunking, but... But then again, this is a stage four clutch. So. My first hill start in this car. Oh, right here now. we go. I was, I, was like, oh, I, was, I was too excited on this throw. Oh, first big swap. There we go. Oh. Oh, 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 oh everything works. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweet. One daily driver though. Oh yeah, for sure. I want to see if I can roast a tire. Go for it. I've never, I haven't really like never done really a burnout before, so it's really just. Here we go. Yeah, 
think so. Yeah, that one wheel peel. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it kind of felt like a. It definitely kicked out to the yeah. to like the right side. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That was kind of weird, but hey, she. I guess she can get down. Maybe all the dip soon, or maybe an LSD. We'll see. I say LSD. I'm <laughs> over that welded dip shit. Yeah. All right, guys. So I am now home. Um, it's kind of late. But just wrapping up this video for you guys. Hope you guys are excited as I am. My car is finally back on the road and it is a five speed now. It's not no auto no more, so I don't worry about that shit. But now, you know, I don't have to save for that anymore. So now, save for other mods. It's just, it's gonna take some time. But, you know, put it down in the comments if you, if you guys are hyped for me down, what you guys wanna see next. Hope you guys like this. Subscribe. You know, it's just a big swap like this for me. You know, the, the like I said, the only thing I've done before was take out the Miata motor. And I didn't really know what I was doing with that and just refreshed it. I mean, sure, Chris was helping me towards the end, but he really just told me what to do. And then I tried doing it. Same thing with this. You know, Marcus uh, would, you know, try helping me, told me what to do. And, you know, I, I did it. I mean, with the help of Dan, shout out to Dan once again, big help in this swap. And, you know, without them, you know, I'll probably still be struggling. But it's good to, good to have people that have your back. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.